Well, we're here to launch uh, the initiative of free swimming for everyone in Wigan Borough. We're taking advantage of the money that the government's giving us to fund free swimming for under 16s and over 60s, which we already provide in Wigan. We've done that for several years. We're going to use that with support from our primary care trust to make sure swimming is available for everyone. Swimming is really important because it's fun, it keeps people fit. You can do it whatever age you are and you can do it in families. So it makes taking physical activity and exercise not seem such a chore. It's actually fun and available. And, and it's, of course it's going to be free for everybody in Wigan. The government's put £140 million into this project to try and get 2 million more people swimming by the time the London Olympics arrive in 2012. The scheme guarantees free entry into swimming baths for under 16s and over 60s for the next two years. But not every council in Greater Manchester has taken up the government's cash offer. Here at Stretford, for example, it will still cost a family £7 to go for a swim. Uh, there's no sweet free swimming because I did ask this morning, which is a bit annoyed about really because it did sound the news it was free swimming for over 65s and children, but it's only in a certain area. Which I don't think's right, yeah. I think it's it's terrible that Trafford have voted not to um, accept, you know, to accept this when all the other um, people are doing it. Yeah, it make a big difference because that's quite a lot for me being a new mum and I'm on maternity leave, so I haven't got a lot of money. So if it was free, it would encourage me to come a bit more. A statement from the council said, we are not trying to prevent people from gaining access to free swimming, but accepting the grant would be a financial liability for the council. We simply wouldn't be able to sustain this offer in the long term. Trafford Council say they're oversubscribed in their swimming pools at the moment, but that could all change following this latest decision. Beverly Walkden for Channel M News.